Welcome to Kit Plus Daily. As we say at the start of each show, during this time, like most businesses and services, we're not actually physically together and are simply brought in this studio via some very cool technology. And as you probably already know, the show was only planned to run during NAB week. But with a little help from some very supportive companies, we are now with you for the rest of May. Lucky you. Hey, absolutely. Most of the news we cover is from companies we've interviewed at various trade shows around the world. So don't forget, you can always catch up with more in-depth insights on numerous playlists on our channel. These are challenging times for the broadcast industry as media organisations enforce home working. The spread of the coronavirus is no doubt speeding up the transition to remote production. Hitomi, who are working remotely themselves, of course, are still available to help and support their customers. Uh, they've produced a, a, a product to aid easier, professional-looking remote broadcasting uh, with the launch of their free iOS app that allows fast and pre precise remote lip-sync measurement. It's designed for use by reporters and presenters wherever they might be using an iPhone or iPad running the Glass app in shot. The production unit, wherever they might be in the world, uh, in a truck maybe, uh, can align the measurements for lip sync accuracy in, in just seconds using the Matchbox Analyzer. Clever stuff. Certainly is. Uh Blackmagic Design have announced a new lower price for their popular Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Now only $1,995 US dollars. Uh, this is a reduction of $500, which will help make this camera more affordable for users working on digital film as well as live productions with the new ATEM mini switchers. With the current demand for multi camera live streaming from home, uh, especially home broadcast studios, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K makes a perfect studio camera when combined with the recent studio camera software update. Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K is available immediately from Blackmagic Design resellers worldwide. Now I'm liking the look of this backdrop and to a company Pebble Beach Systems has launched remotely configurable features to its Marina automation platform including auto list loader to help broadcasters adapt to remote working during the COVID-19 pandemic. One of Pebble's customers based in Spain, a service provider handling playout of uh, 25 channels, was advised that the entire team was to work remotely from Tuesday onwards. This gave them less than 24 hours to transfer, to transfer uh, the control of all their playout operations to staff working from home, and they actually succeeded by the end of play on Monday. Pebble Beach Systems has also demonstrated its latest enhancements to its world-class automation and integrated channel solutions with virtual trade show stands for both CABSAT and NAB. Well, today's special guest is very special indeed. From previous shows, you'll know Media Proxy are supporting The Daily Show, and you can find out all about them on the link below. But even better than that, let's go over to the virtual window to have a chat. And welcome to Raj from Media Proxy. Hope you are well. Uh, so give us a little bit of an insight into what Media Proxy is all about. Thanks, Matt. Um, yeah, I'm good. And everyone else in the team is good. Hope you're well as well and your team. Uh, Media Proxy. Well, we're the global leader in compliance logging and monitoring. We've been around for over 20 years. We're an engineering driven company. We started, you know, when we we're replacing VHSs for monitoring and compliance and now we support all the latest standards. Our solution is software based, you know, using modern web browser interfaces, you know, for our multi viewers and our analysis, tele, um, transport stream tools. Um, we've been deployed initially, we were originally, we were always deployed in engineering departments, you know, making sure that the off air picture was there and everything. But now we're in, mm. uh, deployed in marketing, Ad sales executives. We're even. I've even seen screens of our solution monitoring in um, reception and lobbies. Um, we've become the trusted partner for the world's largest broadcasters and OTT providers. You know the fact that currently we're monitoring over fifteen thousand channels in over sixty countries. So, 
Raj, let's jump straight in. And if we can touch on uh, Volacon. They offered uh, monitoring and compliance solutions until it was dropped suddenly by Verizon uh, last year, I think. Now, this must have left a massive hole for broadcasters to fill. And can you tell us how Media Proxy has, has succeeded, really, in the last 18 months? Yeah, thanks, Simon. Um, first of all, it's a really difficult time for Volicom customers now being forced into a new product, you know, and that's difficult for them. And also, everything is about Volicom replacement. You know, people aren't looking at what the what what is the future in monitoring and compliance and 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 taking that because you've got this rich archive you know uh, we believe that there are too many solutions now on the market and they're all volicon replacements but for customers to avoid the volicon situation again they must do their due diligence not only on technology but the supplier you know they want to partner with because this is a long-term relationship now to five to seven years so as I said, we've been around for 20 years. We're not owned by venture capitalists. We have a strong roadmap and we're looking at new emerging technologies, you know, with industry bodies like AIMS, SIMPT. We were, the, you know, we would join AIMS very early on and we have lots of experience around the new media over IP. And we already support SIMPT 2022-6, 2110 and ES67. The other thing is because we are a software solution, we can use standard commercial off-the-shelf computer equipment, you know, as well as being in the virtual environment. This is really tough now, you know, because we've got gig gigabytes of data going through, not megabytes. So this is all changing. Broadcasters also, we believe, need to look at the changing environment. Look at us now having to work from home. You know, we're offering a rich API, mm. which partners and customers need, can integrate with to, to facilitate all this new remote working. You know, so customers need to look really, we believe our advantage is we're looking ahead. And so customers also need to look ahead. You know, they don't need to look at, well, this is a Volicon replacement. What are you investing in? You're investing in the future. You know, so, and again, one of the things that we do to prove this to customers is, you know, we when we give someone a POC, we pull out the inputs and see what happens to our server. Does it crash? Does it... You know, does it carry on? Ours carries on. So we're proud of that. You know, we we like to show people that our product is robust and in compliance. This is what you need, a robust engine. That's great, Raj. Um, so tell us, uh, what else is new for Media Proxy? Okay, so what's new? Well, as I said, being engineering driven, we're coming up with new innovations all the time. But one of the things that we're really, you know, keen to show customers at the moment is our exception-based workflow. So behind me, you see here, this fantastic, all this monitoring. It's, mon it's for operators monitoring hundreds of lines coming in or channels going out, sources coming into the building. And it's all exception-based. So they can just know what where, you can't expect operators to look at pictures. So this is one of the things we're doing. We're looking at OTT, monitoring in the cloud. You know, again, that's a, a, a people are always talking about the cloud. We're there already. We're do, we're monitoring in the cloud with customers. We've got a real sophisticated tool set. You know, that's ever expanding about digital program insertion monitoring. You know, SCSI thirty five one hundred four, the analysis of that. So you get more detail of when you've done an insertion. That's available. Beyond that, we're already looking with Simti into the new formats that are coming along for seamless switching of sources. And also the 2110 compressed sources now. So that's what's new with us. Brilliant. Raj, thank you very much for coming on to the show. And uh, again, thank you for Media Proxy support. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you. So the internet is still buzzing and alive with events going on for everyone out there. Over 160 events have now been added to broadcastnetwork.co.uk. And even if some are in the past, more often than not, they are recorded, so you can catch up. And hopefully you've spotted our user reviews on our YouTube channel recently. Um, very simple, you turn the camera on yourself, pick the, your favourite item of equipment out of your kit bag, and tell us what you like about it, what it does for you, and why you wouldn't leave home without it. 
ones we use, we pay you £100 for. Uh, we've got some new ones just in, actually, and they'll be going up this week. Well, that's it for today. Please subscribe to our channel, uh, tweet us or email us. Uh, link is on screen now. And thank you to Media Proxy for your support. And do check out the link below. That's it from us today. Goodbye. Just a final thing before we start. Is Matt still jerky or is he all right? Go on, give us a clap, Matt. Well, just move around, Matt. Move, move yeah. side to side. It's...